Well, good morning. Welcome to Grandfather's Garage. I'm Grandfather. This YouTube channel is for my three grandkids, Hanin, Roland, and Una, good morning kids, who unfortunately live too far away to come over on Saturday mornings and hang out in Grandfather's Garage and mess around with stuff. So this is my way of bringing the garage to them so we can do some projects and share life's little tidbits. We're going to build some stuff. We're going to repair lots of stuff. We're going to do some projects in the yard. We're going to do some fishing trips. And hopefully we're going to take some field trips as well. Also, we can just share some experiences. We're happy to have as many additional grandchildren as like to join us. Come along for the ride. We're happy to have you with us this morning. So let's go find out what we're going to work on in the garage next. Come on, let's go to the garage. This is what's known as a cold frame because it allows plants to be protected in colder weather. Cold frames have been used for generations because they allow a gardener to extend the season either into the early spring or well into the late fall and over the winter. Cold frames are most typically placed where they can get the most sun so that the sun can come through the glass covering and radiate and keep the plants and the air inside the cold frame warmer. All right, we showed you what a cold frame looked like. Well, this is a cold frame a la Grandfather's Garage. Um, this particular one is probably a little larger than most. And as you can see, it is built above the ground. Uh, that's my buddy Yoda, just in case you were interested. Uh, this one is built up on 4x4s, four uh, all pressure treated. They were, uh, there were six of them put in the ground, and then they were tied together on the inside with pressure treated 2x4s. Uh, built the structure for it, cut it at the angle that we wanted the top to fit down, and then uh, wrapped the whole thing in basically pressure treated 1x4. It has a, a good coat of Thompson's water seal on it, so it will stay pretty much like this. Uh, the roofing material, I'll come over here, give you a little bit better view of that, is just the standard plastic roofing material that you buy at the hardware store. And it has the, you can buy the little pre-cut ridges for it, a um, little piece of wood that screws right down. And then these are just deck screws with a little piece of rubber off of a roofing nail uh, that keeps the plastic, gives the plastic a little bit of flexibility so it doesn't crack uh, if there's little wind and weather. And those pieces were just cut with a saw to the length I wanted them, set in and screwed in place. And that allows the light and the warmth to get into the plants, but kind of keeps it trapped in there so it is that greenhouse. Um, the handles are simply just two by sixes that uh, were just cut out and sanded a little bit. Um, so we've got two handles because we have two different roof pieces that lift up. And that is sort of the exterior of the cold frame. Nothing fancy, but uh, I didn't want to have to bend over and be on my hands and knees when I was working in the cold frame. So we raised it up and it has a piece of insulation, just foam insulation that sits underneath the bottom on the inside. Show you that once we uh, come to open it up. Okay, we have opened the tops of the cold frames up. I uh, just wanted to show you the inside of this. It's just again uh, the simple one by fours just screwed together with a cross piece on them. Um, in the back, we have just outdoor brass hinges. Those are just plain old door hinges. Those came off uh, another project I was working on. And because they're brass, they will just uh, survive quite well outside here in the uh, salt air that we live in. Um, and then we have just a little stick that's on a loose screw with a V cut in the top. So it just props the top open. So you can do one side or the other side separately. Um, there are two shelves in here. There's an upper shelf for growing smaller plants, and then you can see we've got some stuff growing. Um, lots of lettuce in the cold frame. So the containers that the lettuce are in are nothing but 
the plastic water containers, the bottles that you buy water in, and we don't buy water, bottled water, but a friend of ours had them, so we took them, we cut them in half, and melted holes in the bottom of them so they drain. Uh, this is the foam insulation that I was mentioning to you earlier. Um, that just keeps the cold air out of the bottom. And these are recycled plastic jugs. The depth of them gives these plants enough room for the roots to get down there and spread out a little bit so that we've got some good healthy plants. Um, and so that's what we're doing for those. These younger plants can grow in uh, shallower containers because they're not worried about the roots. At least getting that far down, we'll transplant them. These lettuces were all grown in shallow containers and then I transplanted them three into a bucket down here so they had plenty of room to grow and the roots uh, will come out and water them a couple times a week just to make sure they stay moist and are happy. Um, this allows us to get an early start to the spring season. We'll actually grow plants in here, start the younger plants before they're ready to go in the garden after the last frost. Then we can transplant them into the garden and they can uh, do what they do in the garden. And then as we did with this group, um, as the fall gets in here, we've already had our first frost. It is into December now here. We don't get a lot of snow, but it does frost. So um, these have been just growing like gangbusters in here. We have salads frequently and uh, it all comes from in here because the Frost has pretty much killed everything that was already in the outside garden. Um, so it works real well for us and uh, hope this guy gives you guys some ideas of what you can do. And uh, most of this, it doesn't look like it was scrap lumber, but it was left over from another project. So a lot of it is actually scrap lumber. Um, again, good coat of Thompson's water seal. And all you got to do is babysit it. Um, so hope you enjoyed it and uh, get some good ideas from it and we'll see you in the next project.